So it's been quite a while since I hit 10k because I kept forgetting to make this video. And since part of the 10k special is Touching Sand, which is the sequel to Touching Grass, it took me quite some time to get consistent on it because it's a new top one. So without further ado, I won't make you guys wait any longer. Let's start with the Q&A. I know this question is extremely basic, but what is your favorite food and how do you like it prepared? Okay, so I, I would say probably, if you know what this is, dim sum. Uh, it's like kind of a... Chinese thing. There's like a circular table usually and like they have the spinny glass wheel in the center and basically you order a whole bunch of stuff that comes in like pretty small portions uh, and usually they're like dumplings or something and like you can spin the table around and then take uh, one or two of each item or whatever so you get a ton of variety it's freaking awesome. But I also like a good steak or some fried chicken like the true American I am. Do you plan to expand your content into other aspects of GD besides commentary videos? Occasionally I will probably have a stream highlights video or maybe just like a playing level and commentating sort of video like you would might see on like Aeon Air Triad's channel, but I don't think that they'll be the main focus of the channel. Do you play any musical instruments? If so, what is the hardest song you can play? I do play the piano and I don't really know what I would consider to be the hardest song that I've played because I have different songs that I know that are hard in different ways. Um, I just know that my hardest is definitely harder than Fear Release, which is kind of the only thing that matters. Like, if anyone ever asks you to play the piano, they want you to play Fear Release. They won't say it, but that's that's what they're expecting. So if you can do that, you're immediately set. If there was anyone you would collab with on your channel, who would it be, EVW, Aeon, etc.? There's a lot of people I'd be down to collab with. Uh, maybe some people I would collab with again, like Try It or something. The difficulty would be more to come from what video would we do together. Like, Aeon might entail some sort of opinionated video where we both agree on something, maybe. But also, like, obviously I'd be down to collab with EPW, I'm just not entirely sure what we would really do. But I also like the idea of collabing with other YouTubers, like Stallion or Nothing Is Scary Again. When 2.2 comes out, do you think minigames will take over or speedrunning? I think speedrunning just because it's pretty similar to, like, how we have top players now, and minigames are a lot harder to make. But I do think that both of them will be pretty big aspects of the community for quite some time. How did you train and practice to be able to beat Death Corridor is your hardest cataclysm. Uh, Death Corridor was honestly pretty free, um, I just kind of ran through it in practice mode and then I was like, oh okay, and then I just played it for a bit and I eventually beat it. Uh, my hardest is definitely Soul Cataclysm. If you had to play one level for the rest of your life, which level would you pick? Rob Top Travel, because it has all the Rob Top levels and at some point it might end up getting updated when 2.2 comes out, so, I mean, hey, it's kind of a, it's kind of a cheat, but whatever. If you were to make videos on games other than GD, what games would they be? They probably wouldn't be gaming focused videos. I'd probably just make video essays on stuff that interests me instead. Uh, maybe if I did want to do game focused stuff, it'd be more horror game based, possibly. Like I also play a lot of Minecraft, but making Minecraft content is a horrible idea to me just because there's so much of it already. And also Minecraft YouTubers can't stop touching kids. Like what if I upload a Minecraft video and then boom, 83 children will What is your favorite level of all time? I don't really know if I have one specific favorite level, just like a few top tier, but among those would probably be Starpunk, uh, Death Moon, High Life as well, I really like High Life. I have so many questions, but one is of utmost importance. Will you do a FNAF, preferably FNAF 4 stream and or video? Maybe, but if I did do it, it'd probably be a video on the second channel. I have beaten the first three games, but I've never really given FNAF 4 a proper shot. Like, I played it once for a video, like, months before I started to actually gain traction on YouTube. I'm pretty sure it's privated now, because the audio balancing is horrible and it was recorded on my old iPad. Um, but this time it would obviously be off of the Steam version. I do think FNAF 4 is probably the best shot at, like, finding a game that might actually get some sort of entertainment out of me screaming, because you have to listen so closely for audio cues, and the jump scare is really loud. Like, I play Phasmophobia. Five Nights at Freddy's is not gonna scare me. Will you ever beat Bloodbath? Is there going to be a new Hardest after that? Yes, my ultimate goal for GD is to beat Yadagrasu, um, but I'm not entirely sure what's going on with Bloodbath anymore. Like, I'm still practicing it. I've been taking a break for the past couple weeks to just play some other stuff, but it's just so chronically unfun. I think I'm just gonna go up to 360 hertz. Like, usually I'm a 240 player, but I think at this point I, I give up. I'm, I'm gonna become beta male 360 player insert meme here whatever the f oh boy rapid fire did you really hit 10k yes what is your hardest demon cataclysm what is life consciousness probably what is jump shesh a game made by robert Tapala released in 2013 what is rhythm i don't feel like explaining basic music theory what is wavex it's a jump shesh youtube channel that i own how is the name wavex made to sort of shorten up the story basically i wanted to make a nod to jump shesh specifically the wave game mode because i wasn't sure i would actually pursue jump shesh content um 
and then I ended up doing GD content, so kind of useless, but I also made it two syllables on purpose because it's so easily memeable, which has proven itself given I have tons of nicknames like Gavix and Uwuvix and stuff like that. Do you plan on making a Cleveland Circle sequel? Only if Cleveland Circles gets rated. I don't really see why I would make a Cleveland Circle sequel, because I think the joke is starting to get old with the Detroit Circle se uh, series. I mean, I know there's only two levels, but Cleveland Circles is probably rate-worthy, so if it does get rated, then I would consider it. But the reason for that is not because I would get attention from it, although that's great. Um, it would also be because that means that every level in the series, other than Detroit Circles, got rated uh, to the trilogy, which means... Uh, can't have rates in Detroit. What's the longest you've cried for? Probably like five or six consecutive hours. I'm, I'm not like keeping, I'm not, it's not like I start crying and then like start a stopwatch, but I mean, kind of average, I suppose. Would you rather unlimited bacon, but no games, or unlimited games with no games? Probably unlimited games with no games. Rate your mental stability on a scale from one to 14, then rate my mental stability on a scale from zero to nine. I'd say I could probably give you like a solid 6 or 7 out of 9. Oh, these are kind of weird scales. Just, I don't know, hopefully you're not clinically insane. I think for me it can fluctuate between anything from like a 12 to like a 1.5, depending on like what time of day it is, and depending on like how my day is going, I suppose. I don't know. How do straight relationships work? Who's the girl and who's the other girl? I don't know, you should probably ask someone who's been in a straight relationship. We interrupt your regularly scheduled program to bring you Wavix Touching Sand, the sequel to Touching Grass. And I know I've already said it, but thank you guys a lot for 10k subscribers. It, it really does mean a lot to me, and it's great to see that we've even surpassed it. We're like approaching 15k now, it's, it's great. So, I'm here at the beach. I'm on vacation and uh oh boy here we go touching grass sequel touching sand great i did it let's go what is the best and worst movie you have seen oh boy what is the best and worst movie you have seen okay so i have a top tier of movies that i really really like that are my all-time favorites but i do have a definitively like least favorite slash worst movie that i've ever seen which we'll get to but i think my favorite movies are the lord of the rings trilogy uh, Interstellar, and like Terminator 2. The worst movie I've ever seen is Star Wars Episode Nine: The Rise of Skywalker. To call that movie a sewage-filled dumpster fire is a disgrace to sewage-filled dumpster fires. Um, J.J. Abrams and Kathleen Kennedy need to be locked up for that one. Favorite non-GD YouTuber? Hands down, it's gotta be Wendigoon. Like, I just love his content, like, the way that he makes his videos, and, like, all of the topics that he covers are just so incredibly intriguing to me. Am I your left ball? One second. No, probably not. Are you more gay Dreamstan or furry? What? I mean, neither. I obviously don't have a problem with, like, gay people, but I do have a problem with Dreamstans. Furries are pretty hit or miss, though. Like, I know some really chill furries, and then also some, like, very, 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 like, clinically insane, blocked on Discord type of furries. And then for some reason, a lot of you kept asking uh, if I was gay. If g being gay and straight is a, a spectrum, I'm off the spectrum. On the on the straight side, like like I had never watched like a, a Lil Nas X music video, especially like the prison shower scene. I mean, I mean, what prison shower scene? Ed editor, delete this footage.